Did I see what I think I just... like to race with better cars but it seems like <clears throat> excuse me I can't do that yet oh well oh no it was a play on okay god fuck damn it if there's snow on this road, then I can't get 2 minutes and 18 seconds. There's no way I'm going to beat that. <clears throat> oh, is this mine? Hey, that's pretty decent. Handling is pretty high. That's good. <clears throat> one. Four. I'm gonna go with this one. Apparently I've driven it a lot. I just don't remember doing it. <clears throat> okay. That batch. I have extremely important news. Oh. You know the movie Cats? Unfortunately. No. So, there's a guy who has a friend who works in Hollywood. And he worked on Cats uh, in their visual effects department. Um, uh -huh. Specifically doing one thing. Uh-huh. Removing. Removing. CGI buttholes from the Cats movie that were added a couple of months before. There's a butthole cut of cats where the characters have buttholes. That's an odd thing to remove, question mark? That's an odd thing to put in. Like, they put it in first and then went, oh, we should take it out. Who so... thought that was a good idea? And now I want to see it. <laughs> now that's the <clears throat> only version of cats I want to see is the one where everybody has an asshole. I mean... It's still rather odd, but... It's still rather odd, but I mean, it's going to be at least more entertaining, because you're going to go, why does Judy Dench have an asshole? No, I don't know if it's the actual person's butt, but... No, clearly not. <laughs> Just random CGI cat anuses. It's still rather weird. It's <laughs> very fucking weird. I think it was a soda rig film though, so I can't say I'm surprised. Not at uh, all. Also, hello, Ryan. Hello. And Dale. Hello. <clears throat> You're not dead yet. Hmm? Not dead yet? Nope, not yet. I'm playing a tank, I can't die. <laughs> Actually, yes, I can, but that's because that'd be if I have a horrible, horrible healer. Well, like I did yesterday. I, I am worried about tomorrow. Why? What's tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> so I've had this little shelter out here for a while, outside, mm -hmm. and it gets windy sometimes, but, uh -huh. like, whatever. Um, so, I got a fucking notification on my phone that was just like, hey there's a special weather warning tomorrow. Right. or tonight tomorrow there's like a rain turning into thunderstorms and then tomorrow because of a cold pressure front uh, the wind is going to reach up to 90 kilometers an hour <coughs> Fun. That's, that's 56 miles per hour Jesus so 
I'm going to have to take my PlayStation and everything inside because the shelter is probably going to take off and go into orbit on its own. That's if like it's that, that windy. Or it's just going to fucking crash down and, like, destroy the TV or something. So, yeah, I'd probably take it all inside, yo. Yeah. That's the plan. Is tomorrow is going to be Jesus fuck. I was out here a few days ago, and it was... Excuse me. Uh... 40 kilometers an hour, which is like 26, I think, miles per hour. That's nothing. <laughs> no, that was nothing, but that was still bad enough, because the whole like, the quote-unquote feet, the legs of the shelter, because it's like a roof, and then one end has legs, and the other end is sitting on top of the fence. Mm -hmm. So the fence is the legs. But the legs were being like, pushed in. They were coming in at a bent angle. The whole thing it's was terrifying. about to go down. Yeah. And the tarp above was catching wind and then going up and slamming down incredibly hard, which was causing everything to shake and move. So it was... Yikes. I cut the tarp. <clears throat> like, there were a, a few restraints on the tarp that I cut so it was able to move around easier, and that helped somewhat, but fuck. Now hopefully you can sew it back together so it's not... Poopy later. I thought it was, uh... 150? Like, <clears throat> uh, uh... The tarp has, like, the grommets, the holes in them. Mm -hmm. So I was just putting the zip ties through the holes and then through something else. So I just cut the zip ties. Yep. I've got more zip ties, so it's not a big deal. Like, I put the... The tarp was still over it. It was just I cut some of the straps that were helping keep it secure. Right. So that mm -hmm. way it was able to move more in the wind. <clears throat> I didn't want it turning into a fucking parachute. Hey, at least we know, we'll know you'll be safe from the coronavirus if you're uh, up in space. <sighs> oh, why did he just slam on his brakes? I could dig Why this. didn't he is the better question. I don't know what... No, he shouldn't <laughs> have. It was a straightaway. <coughs> You know, I kind of want this to happen, just to find out how the fuck they deal with it. I you, really want... Did you hear they have a dick? Yes, they do. They don't have it a cure. It was discovered last night. They don't have a cure. They might have a vaccine or something that works... A vaccine, in, yes. Yeah, it works in theory, but they haven't tested it on humans yet. Yes, they have. <clears throat> Do you know how long it takes for human testing? Like, a It's a year days. and a half. No, it's a year, because you have to find Draghi out what the said hell there was a, Draghi said it was something along the lines of the malaria yeah, uh, Draghi, vaccine. Draghi also said that the United States wasn't going to get hit hard because people are more oh, spread no, we out. Were. He knows yeah. we are fucked. 80% of the American population lives in an urban area, and you have the third largest population by country in the world. The only countries that have more than you are China and India. You're going to be you fucked harder. hard. So it's th this cure thing about it being like done in a couple of days. It's the whole thing about everybody saying it's going to take 12 to 16 months or 12 to 18 months for a vaccine is mm -hmm. for the human testing aspect of it. Because you have to test it over the course of a year. You can test it immediately and see if it works. But you have to then pay attention to those people over the course of a year, year and a half to find out if there are any health problems. Like, the vaccine might get rid of coronavirus, but it might kill your kidneys. So they've got to watch you over the course of a year to make sure that your kidneys aren't going to fail. Or if they do, it's because of something else and not the vaccine. Because if they go out and start giving everybody this vaccine now and it comes out in a year and a half, that'll destroy, like, I don't know, your liver will start working less. Then you're going to have another pandemic with people needing liver transplants. So but then wouldn't that have already been a known thing because of the, it being a part of the uh, strain of um, malaria? The vi or the vaccine, I like, first, I don't know anything about this. I'm going to have to look into it. But I do know about viruses. And when it comes to a vaccine, you, you can use a vaccine for one virus on another, and it can be effective. You still have to tweak it. But the issue is that when you create the vaccine, it's supposed to fight the virus and only the virus. If you're using a different virus's vaccine for another virus, that vaccine might not know when to stop. 
Like, it might get rid of coronavirus, but then it might attacking start attacking something else in your system because that's been affected by corona in some way. Like, it might start attacking liver cells, as an example, because corona changes something in the, I don't know, the glucose membrane of some of the cells, and the cells come up and get flagged as corona for the vaccine, and the vaccine starts attacking it, which starts damaging the liver. <clears throat> so that stuff like that might happen, which is why... That they oh, might have found something that gets rid get of corona, but it won't be available to people for at least a year. Alright, let's put... Crap. Is That's... Sucky, but... I'm gonna put that there. China Oops. did just say that they have had, like, they just went their first week with zero new cases. So that's something. Um, well, there you go. Part, yeah, part of Italy uh, had a test as well. Uh, what they did was more of a trial. They blanket tested an entire town in northern Italy. Three odd, three thousand something odd people. They brought up the tests for every person in the town. They tested every person in the town, and if you were, uh, if you came back positive, they forced you into quarantine. And after they found all those initial cases, no new cases have been made in that town except for people living with each other. So like a which, wife might have affected her yeah. husband, which makes sense. Yeah. So it's uh, that was one good thing. Something that will never happen in the United States because you don't have enough tests. So it's which actually people are pissed right now because the Brooklyn something, some NBA thing just got tests and tested their entire <clears> team <throat> in New York State. A state which currently doesn't have enough tests. So people are going Hey, where'd you get those fucking tests? And why did a basketball team get them before people? So this, this this whole thing is being a clusterfuck. It's less because of the virus, and more of everybody's reactions to it, and showing how ill prepared the world is for something like this. Well, yeah. I mean, the world was also not prepared for the fucking plague, and look how far we've come with that. Although it's more or less because we've become clean. Nur. A lot of it was that. Just basic hygiene. But, uh... <coughs> I just mean in the sense of, like, hospitals not being able to deal with large influx of patients. Um, uh, the CDC, for example, not... The United States... A lot of countries did this, not just the United States. I'm just using it as an example because you both live there. Mm -hmm. uh, wasted your heads up time. Like, there was a notification that the Trump administration got in January about this potentially being an enormous pandemic. They ignored it and didn't do anything until like a week ago. Like, Trump, <clears throat> up until two weeks ago, was saying that it wasn't a big deal. So it's because he didn't think about it being a big deal because he didn't think people of American descent would become infected. So yes, yeah, probably. of course he's going to think that. I I don't think it was so much the racist part of it as I never said anything about race. No, no, no it it seemed. Uh, I'm using it as a spin, like him just saying oh. that Americans are more superior than everybody else is just easier to say racist than just like okay nationalist or whatever. Um. I think it was less of that. I think it was genuinely because he's just... Like, I think you're giving him too much credit. What do you mean? He, he watches news like a motherfucker, and Fox of News course. for weeks was saying that this was not a problem. There were a bunch of Fox News people who were saying specifically that it was a hoax perpetuated by the Democrats to win the election, which is just lunacy. But they... It, one of the ladies who specifically said that on her show was saying, this is a hoax, it is not a big deal, you will not get hurt by this, she got fired. And it wasn't until Tucker Carlson came out on Fox News and said, this is a problem, this is not a hoax, this will affect your life, people you know will die. Literally the next day. Like, he doesn't... He didn't think it was a big deal because Fox didn't think it was a big deal. The second that he watched somebody on Fox and said it was a problem. Problem. Like he's... Your president right now is not Trump, it's Fox News. They're making all the decisions. I mean... 
I have to do a Probably clean lap, that means I'm going uh, to get ahead of all these douchebags. Yeah. Sorry, what'd you say? Uh, Ryan? I was talking to myself. I gotta get a clean lap, which means I can't run into anybody, which means I have to get into first place to do that. Uh, I thought you said, uh, Jace. Mm, nope. Yep. Place. Um. And are yeah, you all better about yesterday with Draggy and your fight with him? I still think he's a moron, but and only the reason. Last yeah, but the reason that I got so frustrated and angry there was okay. There are a lot of stupid people who have stupid opinions and feel stupidly about things. In my mm. opinion, like I can look at them right. and think that's a stupid goddamn opinion. You're a fucking moron. But I'm not going to voice that because I'm just like hey, it's your opinion. Who cares? What difference does it make? Yeah. That opinion that Draggy had is a genuinely dangerous one. And if enough people had that opinion, more people could potentially die by not taking this seriously. It's like all the people who went to Florida for spring break. There were like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people out on the beach. These people are going to go home, go with their grandparents, kill their grandparents. Or kill somebody in their family who's immunocompromised because they're going to get coronavirus and not be able to but, deal with But, I mean, now, way. okay, so I wasn't here for the entire conversation, so I can't, I'm not taking any sides. Yeah. So. Oh, the, the um, thing was just, he but, said that the United States wasn't going to get hit as hard because the uh -huh. United States is more spread out than Italy is. Like, that doesn't make any sense. You have more people than Italy does. And more we, people live in urban areas. And he said, no, they don't. Right, that yeah. Was, that was that. The, that was pretty much it. Urban, and then urban I said, areas meaning like um, cities and again? suburban. Uh, urban. That's the U.S. Oops. Census Bureau. So that's your government saying that eighty percent of people live in urban areas, and their definition of an urban area is a city, suburban areas, or towns larger than twenty thousand people. Um. Well, I I can't say that mine has that. I I because I clearly don't know. What do you mean? Like my area, for instance. Oh, I. I'm saying the United States, like, uh, your population, 80% uh, of the United States population lives in an urban area. Correct. Yeah. So just urban areas get hit hard by coronavirus because people are more packed, like, tight-packedly together, and there's more interaction, more stores, and just generally more people to talk to, as well as it's busier with more people from out of town coming in. So it's able, urban areas spread viruses much quickly, or much right. more quickly than a rural area. And he said that the majority of Americans do not live in an urban area. And I said they do, and he said no, Americans more spread out. No. Maybe he I thought said, his individual state. Maybe. I don't know. Because just the whole thing. In I said Americans, like I said, the U United States multiple times, just America. But uh, yeah, my point just being is that if the ta not taking coronavirus seriously is a dangerous thing. Or is a right. No, I mean I'm thing now. To do. For for myself, for instance, I'm not taking it as seriously because I wash my hands like a fucking, like a monster. I'm not I'm not going anywhere. I know that for sure. No, no, that's and not what I mean. I tell my and I tell my parents that uh, I clean. I make the kids clean their hands like like I'm a Nazi about it. And like parents are fine with that. They could care less because they I mean, know I'm taking care habit. of their children. Yes, it's a good habit anyway. Who cares? <laughs> right. So they they don't care that I am a Nazi when it comes to their children's safety. Like, yeah. don't care. <laughs> when I said taking it seriously, I didn't mean like individually, oh. because I'm at home, like all right. the time. The likelihood of right. me getting this is Flip. basically non-existent. But right. the For uh, us. I just mean taking the virus seriously in a dismissive tone, like the people who say, "Oh, coronavirus is not a big deal. It's basically just the flu." It's not. That's kind of my. That was my um, look at it because it is basically just a flu. Like it wasn't as bad as the news <laughs> is making it out to be in the sense of it killing thousands of people. Like they're thinking. That's people the thing. Are... The news fucked up. The news yeah. was saying that coronavirus was going to kill you. Coronavirus right. might kill you. It will might. kill old people and immunocompromised. If they are already people. sick. It's a, uh, no. Like, over the age of 65, your likelihood of death for, from coronavirus goes to 1 in 5. Like, it's literally Russian roulette, like, probability at that point. And because when you're older, I guess there's more comor comorbidities that go along with it. But, like, I young people... I don't know people, that word, so... Uh, 
having multiple health problems. So, like, if you have diabetes, if you have heart disease, if you have uh, that guy, shit mom, like that. I don't have to worry about that with mom because she's over diabetes. <laughs> yeah, no, she'll. She, but she's also fifty-five. So she's she's in a risk group. Um, she's, she's more likely not going to be fine, but she's in one of the risk categories. I mean, she's, she's going to have a, the flu, yes, but not like death. Yeah, probably. But I also but, make her wash her hands, also like a Nazi. So I, okay. I'm. Well, here's the issue with Corona. It's not so much that it's going to kill you, and it's not so much that the mortality rate, the mortality rate is around two or three percent, depending on each country. So two or three percent in America is literally like twenty million people. Oh. So there's a lot of dead people, even if you go with two percent. But ignoring that, the mm-hmm. issue with Corona isn't how lethal it is; it's how infectious it is. Flu That's is not that infectious. Flu, right. like one person, can transmit it to about two people. It's like the the I can't remember the term for it that the CDC has. The uh, reproduction rate, the virus reproduction rate, is, for flu is about one or one point something to two, which means that one person, on average, gives the flu to two other people, and then those two people give it to two other people, etc. Continue. With coronavirus, right. it's over four, meaning that one person can give it to four people. That one person in those four people is going to give it to another four. This shit explodes exponentially, mm-hmm. and if it gets to a point where enough people have it. The issue isn't that people are going to die. It's the issue that people are going to be sick. Because coronavirus can kill you, but the issue with it is that it's going to give you, like, pneumonia or other things, and it's going to put you in the hospital. Thanks, later. If enough, hey, if enough people get put in the hospital, the hospital gets overwhelmed and can't deal with any problems, not just coronavirus. That means if somebody has a heart attack, they're likely to die. If somebody has basic issues, they're likely to die because the hospitals are too overwhelmed to be able to deal with the influx. So the issue isn't Corona that's going to kill you. It's Corona that's the... going to fuck up every... ...will not be able to save you, and you will die from something you normally wouldn't. That's the main issue here, and the news skipped a beat. They just said... They don't want to scare people with. Yes, <laughs> but that is the issue. No, and if you they're... hear the term... If you hear the term flattening the curve... There's currently a graph, and it shows uh, two big bubbles, like mountains on the graph. Um, mm-hmm. One is like, has a really high peak, but it's very narrow. And the other one is very wide, but it has a very low, flat peak. The other thing on this graph is a dotted line. The dotted line represents the point at which hospitals get overwhelmed by their patients. That really tall, high peak, that's not flattening the curve. That's not doing anything to stop the spread of coronavirus, not doing social distancing, no self-isolation, no nothing like that. Hospitals get overwhelmed, people die. If you flatten the curve, people get infected, but over a longer period of time, less infected, less fast, the hospitals are able to deal with it, and we can move past it after a certain rate. So if you hear flattening the curve, that's just what they mean. They want to get people infected at a lower rate so the hospitals aren't overwhelmed. And that's what's going to kill people. Just hospitals right. being overwhelmed. So it's Hi. That, that's why uh, this is this is where uh, like New York has asked the Army Corps engineers to build the hospitals. They've said yes. So that was the other thing. But yeah, and this is this is where I was going to come in and say that my cleanliness and the cleanliness of my family is also going to be fine because with yeah. uh, with it being able to be spread through like let's say money. If, as long as I'm making sure they're washing their hands, they're not going to get infected. Like the the amount of being or the the possibility of being infected deals with your cleanliness and how much oh, you touch geez. your face or other shit where you can get the infection. Yeah. And if you're washing like you're supposed to, then you're fine. You're, like, you're I'm not. You're slightly wrong because there's one other aspect to this. They found out that Corona is aerosolized. It can survive up to three hours in the air. So if somebody sits in a chair and they have corona and they breathe, you sit in that they leave, you sit in that chair two hours later, you wash your hands, you do everything fine, there's a chance you'll get corona because it's in the air. But like it's not just a that's another thing why people are self isolating and why so many things are shutting down. It's not just because of the touching and the hand washing thing, it's also because breathing can pass it as well now. 
But wouldn't it also have to be like if you cough, if like the person coughed and that cough had the virus, let's say, no. in it? No. Uh, there is. I, I highly doubt it should be just through you breathing, because that's normally yeah. not how an infection would spread. It'd have to it's be no through like a sneeze or a cough or something that is going to be from that point of your body where it's going to be able to come out. It can't Normally. just be through your breath. It can. There are certain viruses that do it. Corona is one of them. Another one is measles. If you breathe, it'll... The problem well, with the virus... We don't worry about vi uh, measles. Measles right now, yeah. Because all the anti-vaxxers, they've all shut up. Have you noticed? I think they're dead. But the... Uh... Yeah, it's better why. Um... I think they're all kind of happy about the Beyond the Beat stuff. So, whatever. They can shut up for a while. Um, measles and drift. coronavirus get aerosolized in a different way. Normally, viruses transmit through droplet dispersion, which does mean, like, you cough, you sneeze, you whatever, and the droplets, Ugh. like, tiny bits of moisture, the virus is in that, and it binds itself to, like, if you touch a handrail or something else, and then somebody else touches that, touches their face, whatever. Measles, coronavirus, and a few others... I can't think of any offhand right now beyond those two. They do something a bit different, where your lungs are constantly, if you're virally infected, you're const your lung is constantly producing these viruses anyway, just to be able to help it transmit. But these can bind themselves with dust particles. When you breathe into the air, the virus normally comes out in droplet form and settles <coughs> to the ground or settles to objects. But these can, like, you breathe into the air, all the dust particles and dust mites that are in the air it latches onto them. Those float in the air, and it takes three hours for those viruses to die in exposure to the air. It takes up to three days for it to die on plastic and metal. So it's... There's a lot of in, a lot of different ways you can get infected from this thing right now. And when they found out the breathing thing, that made a lot of sense as to why it was so infectious. So that's that's mm. that's the main reason why they're shutting down large groups of people. It's not the touching thing. It literally is just you breathe and you can transmit it easily. Because life. Also, if you get it, don't use ibuprofen. Use Tylenol. The anti-inflammatories make it work worse. So yay. It's kind of sad, though, when, like, everybody's just like, oh, you need to be quarantined, and then you realize that your life is just calls quarantine. Just like, I've had to change nothing about my lifestyle. I've washed my hands more. Yeah, I mean, that. I just, I just mean, like, I'm not... I'm always home anyway, because it's not like I'm hiding. What? What's later? Oh. Oh. It's a cat, I presume. Dog. Okay. Well, pet. When you said Although somebody is in your room. Protective. Did you say Cassidy? It's not a name I've ever heard for a pet before, so I assumed it was like your sister or something. And then you said <clears> licking <throat> yourself, and I was like, I really hope it's a pet. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if someone was licking themselves. I really wouldn't. Uh I mean, I've met people. There's this coronavirus challenge going on right now that started on TikTok with people licking toilet seats and handrails and shit like that. I, I hope they die. Is that yeah. stupid? That is very stupid. Yes. Those people deserve to die. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> yes, yes, they do. They won't, because they're all young. And the vast majority of oh, young people... Oh, that's a right-hand drive? What the hell? Uh, Literally, okay. you can be infected with corona, and the only thing that happens is you'll have a slight headache. If you're young, this is one of the chances. Oh, oh. So. Uh, dangerous, dangerous idiots. Also, the porn industry is suffering because porn people don't want to touch each other because of everything going on. So, interesting. There's <laughs> a lot of weird shit being fucked up by this. Colbert delivered his monologue from his bathtub on Monday. <sighs> Full suit in a bathtub with water and suds. I mean... Thoroughly weird. Uh, 
Oh. Can't say I've heard that before. What, the suit the bathtub? Correct. He called it his bathing suit. Cute. I'm ashamed. Yeah, I'm ashamed with how hard I laughed. <laughs> Was... I am. Oh, it was yeah. Such a um, joke. Once I get back to the Marauders Guild on Final Fantasy, I'll get on um, uh, Warframe with these later. Wow. Really yeah, Connor like and I made it um, uh, uh, build for Corona, but I don't know if it would be good enough for what I want to do, or how you would see it, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, because you use weapons that barely anybody uses. 90? <laughs> oh, man. Broke in a good way, or broke... Hmm. Interesting. IPS? Oh, the... Right, right, right. Yes. Yes. I remember now. Took me a minute. <coughs> no, that died. Status is amazing now, because... Because it... Because... Oh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the new status change is literally you, you, you shoot a bullet, that bullet has a chance to split into other shit if you have more than one status on it. Uh huh. Whoop. Like the, uh, oh, yeah, that's what I was being said. Like, it, it, the bullet splits off. But I thought it did. From the way it did on. Is Dale breaking up for oh. anyone else or just me? Mm. Oh, okay. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't. Like my connection. No, I didn't know if I was breaking up or not because I'm in my kitchen. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. A uh, real quick thing. Uh, has anybody played Injustice One? I have not. Okay. Uh, pick a hero or villain from DC. That guy. What? I don't know. That guy. Uh, Nightwing, Batman, or hold on, Nightwing, Batman, Lobo, Joker, Harley, Cyborg, oh, Static Shock isn't here, unfortunately, I really wish he was. Although, here's something funny, uh, in Injustice 1, there's a bunch of different skins you can get for different characters. One of the skins for Green Lantern, because he's Hal Jordan by default, but one of the skins is Jon Stewart. And the voice actor who plays Jon Stewart in the Justice League TV shows and movies is the same guy who voices Samurai Jack... But he's also the same guy who voices Static Shock. The so Static Shock is in the game, he's just not Static Shock, he's Green Lantern. <laughs> Which is weird. No, uh, Ryan Reynolds was Hal Jordan, he was the white guy, he's the black guy. The black Green Lantern. I think he's the gay one, too. Um, so, uh, Nightwing, Lobo, Joker, Harley. Cyborg, Luthor, Deathstroke. Raven, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Ares, Killer Frost, Doomsday, Hawkgirl, Shazam, Batgirl, Sinestro, Black Adam, or Bane? Uh, Bane and Nightwing. I mean, just pick one. <sighs> Fine, fuck. Uh, Nightwing. And, uh, 
<laughs> I wish. Also, new 52. Uh, in Injustice 1, there's a battle mode where you just fight ten random villains. And uh, if you beat battle mode with different characters, you get different endings. And I'm trying to get the endings for all the characters, but I don't really care who I play as. So is, is that... I couldn't decide. <laughs> I haven't played as Nightwing yet, actually. It's not in the main game. To play as. Those new 52 skins pull. Oh, shit. I'm gonna make a very, very interestingly stacked burrito for later. Oh yeah, my god, if you don't five. get off me, I'm gonna fucking T-bone you. Or more like Connor and I haven't played Fallout in a hot minute. <laughs> so I think Connor basically got bored of it. What, uh, which game story? Fallout? Uh, Fallout, yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised. There's only so much you can play of some MMORPGs that... It's just like, okay, that's enough. I could never get bored of the fat ones. Yeah. <laughs> Are you shocked? I play ESO. Slater is not wrong. ESO is... Oh wait, never mind. I was, I was gonna say, the ESO is nothing like Fallout, but it's made by the same people, so... Kind of, but not all the same. Yes. Yeah. Better. I think it's the word you're looking for. Uh, <sighs> I couldn't even say that because I was bored as fuck with that game. ESO? I saw you playing it the other day. Yeah, and I was bored. Do you, have you seen me play it since? No. Uh, I played... I, no, I have the same thing. I get bored with it too. I'm not a big fan of this hold button down to attack kind of combat style. Oh. Well, then don't play Final Fantasy. Well... Yeah, don't play Final Fantasy because you have to press R1 plus triangle to use this move. Then you, then that goes no, into fine. R1 and other shit, but you have to hold no, no, it down no. to do shit, and it's just... That's fine. My, my th like, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition and ESO, for example, if you have a staff or a sword in Elder Scrolls Online, it literally <laughs> is either tap button fast for light attack or hold button for, like, heavy attack. With down R2. The end. There are some skills that you can use for like square and whatever, but they're like special skills. They're not just random combos. So like that yeah, shit gets Final real boring fast. Combos. That's fine. Like Mortal Kombat, Soul Calibur, fucking Injustice. They're all uh, uh, combo games. Actually, you can play a Scorpion in this. <gasps> Bitch, do Scorpion. I already did. That was the first one. Damn it! <laughs> it's great too because at the end of every match, if you, uh, whoever wins, your character does this little animation, and like uh, with Zod, it's going out on a balcony and saying like, "I win, I always win," but with Scorpion, he says, "To hell with you!" Rips off his mask, showing a flaming skull, breathes fire out of his eyeballs to create a portal to hell and then yeets you through the portal before jumping down and standing on your back inside of hell. <laughs> it's, it's quite something. He also yeah, uses right. his... And of course, he uses my favorite move, and the one that has to be in this. Get over here! I did that to Kwai Jin, or whatever the fuck the bald name, the, the bald dude's name was. Uh, I did that and pulled out his brain. <laughs> Jesus fuck. <laughs> That scarred me for life because I was yeah. something. <laughs> no, <laughs> and and I was a small person when when this when this happened. So yeah. so video game violence was not a thing I was exactly used to just yet. I had a Mortal Kombat game for Super Nintendo, and I remember having a similar experience when I accidentally did a fatality where I ripped out somebody's skull and spine. And it was just like, oh, that's been permanently in my head forever. <laughs> like, I can't get rid of that image. I'm not. I'm okay with it now because I'm just oh, like yeah, yeah, video yeah. games. But at the time, it was like <laughs> morally. I was playing Sub Zero too. I think I uh, I played Lady 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 Zero, and um, was she like uh, a she um, a woman who was ice. 
Yes. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that also scarred me for a little bit, but I was okay with I was more okay with that than having someone's brain ripped out of their face with a spear. Because that's not too bad. Because he turns no. to ice. If I remember correctly, you turn on the ice, and when you like kick them, they just break into big chunks. Yes. So it's but like, it's... however, it was like a controlled break. So like half of the lower half is still ice and standing there, and the other Correct. half. Correct. Yes. Hey, fuck you. We're gone. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sono todri ja. <clears throat> what? Correct. Oh. <clears throat> I also said it in the old man voice because uh, apparently all old men in Japan say ja when they when they finish their sentence. Well, okay, fine. The the uh, it's a generational tsuchikage. thing that's common in some generations. Yes, yes. The Suchikage in Baruto says it all the time. He's just being racist. Don't worry about him. Uh, no, because <laughs> I watched a lot of anime, so fuck you. <laughs> Whereas you barely watch any. Hey, I watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Fuck you. Yu-Gi-Oh! <sighs> Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't have all that many old people. <laughs> Yu-Gi's grandpa. <laughs> that old ass fool is, is, doesn't say da. Yeah, he does. At, at the end of every sentence, he says da. He says it a lot. It's not the end of every sentence, but he says it a lot. <laughs> hmm. I've never understood why, but I guess now I do. I guess it's just a familiarization of their word. I don't. I don't fucking remember. It sounds like something like uh, in Newfoundland how we just go like bye all the time. Hey, I, get on I there, bye. It was cold outside. Didn't it today? Bye. Version of Canadian A. Ah, I love A. I used to say a lot. A lot. Yeah. So a lot of that is just like, how's it going on, eh? With Newfoundland, it'd be hey, get on there, bye. Hey. Just Irish and shitty. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Nightwing's kind of sexy. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dragon. Unless he still has me muted. Uh, possible? <laughs> I could only assume you have uh, Jace muted still, Dragon. Okay, because he said hi, but still, anyway. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> ah, Batman! I'm Dick Grayson. I'm gonna kill you, bitch. Oh, wait, no, this Aww. isn't Dick Grayson. This is Damian Wayne. My warrior is now level. I mean, my uh, marauder is level ten. Mm hmm. Ah, die, Batman. I have my organization thirteen code on, so I'm Gucci. Slay Galagos. Uh, where is the teleport area? Color. What in the fuck? I wonder what Nightwing's super looks like. Hit me, Batman. Left his butt. Come on, Batman. Fucking hit me. Slap it. If I hit him again, his health is going to go down too low, and I... There we go. <clears throat> oh. I made a big burrito. Nightwing just gets on a motorcycle and just... Zooms runs off. over Batman. He runs, oh like... Uh, he draws past left Batman, like, left, right, left, right, left, right. And every time mm -hmm. he's doing it, he's, like, slicing you open with something. And then he just hits you with the fucking... Or, no, he drives straight at you with the motorcycle, jumps off, and hits you with a staff, and you go flying. Oh. It's just like, okay, then. Some of the supers in this are pretty cool. <laughs> Zod will punch you through the moon. Hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't Zod the, the scary alien man that could turn invisible? Uh, what? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know too many oh, uh, heroes Zod. or... Uh, General Zod. Does that help? No. Uh, he's a Kryptonian. Um, he's from Man of Steel. He was in the, the Henry Cavill Superman movie. The, the main bad guy that Henry Cavill was fighting in his first Superman movie as General Zod. Played by uh, Michael Shannon. Uh, he was a, 
Uh, okay. Uh, General Zod is a Kryptonian, and he was wanting to like go all military coup-ish on Krypton to take it over Again, make stuff uh, before right? Krypton was about to destroy itself. I'm free points. And I'm just he like, ignored it? its destruction. In various different incarnations, he got put into the Phantom Zone and was just there for a while before showing up on Earth to see Kal-El, realizing that they have powers and going, we're going to make Earth into new Krypton. That's basically his deal. The rank S rank? Best as you can get, isn't it? as good as you can get, brother. Oh. <clears throat> oh, my tank stance is still on. Cool. Ah, the after core. What a scary thing that thing was. Are you talking about Warframe? Yes. Okay. I didn't know if it was Warframe or Destiny. It was just. I have not. I have not finished the dailies yet. The what? Oh yes, yes. Oh, the dragon probably. Um, I mean, my warrior is uh level ten. Um, I can do levies if you want me to. <coughs> oh shit, oh shit. No, no, no. Uh, oh. yeah, I did my hot log, but I had to get to level 10 to be able to get to rank 2. And I'm doing my, I am just finishing up my, uh, um, rank 10 quest. Using myself in my. Disguise Right Falling down Safe and Sound The hot log? No, uh, it got me to level 9 Bless you Corona No, I have not Started the uh Ranked, uh, rank, uh, rank two. You have the Corona Slider. You gotta die. Oops. Yeah, I was doing phase to help level myself up to get to ten, yes. But I haven't touched any phase just yet because I went to do my level ten quest. Fuck you, Sinestro. He will with something hard and sandpapery. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds like you're just not yeah. experimental enough. That's right. Butt plugs get to win and defeat the creature. Nature's butt plug. It's biodegradable. Ooh yeah, fuck you with a cactus. Yeah. <laughs> you proud of that sentence? <laughs> what did you say last night that I said that to, Draggy? Did you say something that uh, I was like, "Are you proud of yourself for that?" Or was that someone else? <clears throat> oh, oh yeah, 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 I remember. <laughs> I was like, "Who the fuck?" <laughs> oh yeah, because I was watching my show I was, and I unmuted myself I was like, are you fucking proud of yourself? And he said it laughing. <laughs> I remember that now. <laughs> uh. Yeah? Yes, dear. Wow. Jesus.
Oh yeah, that's the one that uh, me, Connor, and everyone else are playing with, right? Damn Wilfred near t on me. I keep saying T-Bone when I mean Pit. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I got a slow way down for that turn. Good God. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Just had the AI user super on me. It was the first time I've ever seen it. Uh. Oh, oh come no, on. I am Dick Grayson. He's dead, though. What the hell? The blood of the be loved. Shit. <laughs> just get, just barely got out of that. I don't think I'm gonna get that time limit. <laughs> Sucks. What you but... need, Ryan, is holy water. No, I'm not religious. You know better than that. Fine. Your parents need to get you some holy water. They're not religious either. What? <laughs> What's God going damn, on here? Some head. <laughs> I was saying because I was humanity. We are humanity. <laughs> you live in rural Colorado. <laughs> no, you aren't. <laughs> you clearly didn't get the joke, but okay. I did. I did. I just refused to entertain it. Damn. Three Dale. laps. His yes, here. PlayStation username is humanity. I I know that. That was his joke. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hi. Where are you going? Oh. Where are you going? Fuck you, Shazam. Ow. No. Oh. oh, do you want me to get on my, um... Bless you. Bless, bless you. I can't get <clears> that <throat> score. It sucks. Fears the trees. Creatures from the grid. Why the fuck would I have my my hat on when I like my my character's hair? Oh yeah, so Draggy, do you want me on? Um, well, because I don't know. It put it on and apparently said that I wanted my hat on. Like, no the fuck I don't. Draggy, do you want me to invite me and we'll do the, uh, the, uh, thing? The, um, copied factory? Oh shit. Well, fine. I'll go back to my router. And I'll do my hot log. <sighs> the mossless gabu. Do I kick through this thing? Lower the Nosha. Ow. Lower the western. Just Nosha. in the nick of time. Lower. Literally. I think I got it. Yep. <laughs> western. Western. Upper. So I think I have like two things over here. Three. Oh shit. My high is lower. Lower. Faster. Lower. Oh, okay. So 145. I, mm, I think I can do it. Depending on the track. Oh no. Leave me alone. Uh. Get off me, Tuesday. Lower Lenosha. Oh, ow, the god's grip ow, is ow, here. Ow, ow, fuck, ow. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> okay, everybody, let's not run into Ryan now. Jeez. No. Do it. Right into him. 
I'm it's susceptible to damage. Damn it. Fuck. Good boy. Oh, it's the minute save cart. <laughs> Still can't believe there's a butthole cut of cats. <laughs> Corner Still going penalty. About that. Uh oh. I'm sorry, but I'm like scarred for life. About seeing a cat's butt. No, about the idea that somebody even thought that that was a good one. To put a cat butt on there? Somebody went, oh, look, we've got Ian McKellen, Idris Elba, Judy Dench, all these amazing actors. Let's CGI a cat asshole onto them. <laughs> I mean, they were, were realistic? Question mark? I mean, who wants to see that? Nobody. I mean, I do now. Oh, I shattered but... his back window. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Come on, get out of the way. Oh, fuck off, Superman. They expect me to get 145. Oh, on this straightaway. Okay, I'm okay with that. Oh my god, slam on the brakes. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. Corner oh, penalty, my ass. Is. Message uh, Kenzie and tell her that she can join our party. Who's Kenzie? Let's see what Brad wants. Oh, I ain't drifting. This car cannot drift. come off the ground a little bit, but that was that sound. Was the casualty. I think seriously go evil because of this. Your books? What books? Oh, I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, just so my knowledge, just for my knowledge, uh, overpower is the, um, your, uh, your, um, Yes. Okay. <clears throat> That's what I was wondering. <coughs> hey. Me mean be in close proximity because they're assholes. <laughs> so I just can like throw it at things that are like diagonal from me. Starting grid, of course we 
supernova. Oh, my tank stance is on. Oh my god. Yes. Defiance? Yeah. Uh, more like level five? Whoa! Alright, that was nuts. Oh. Well, I can't see the race line, so this doesn't help me whatsoever. game is level transitions, so you can be fighting on a certain level, get to a certain side of the map, and punch somebody really hard with a certain punch, and there's like a cutscene where they take a shit ton of damage as the map changes. Oh, he's slipstreaming me, no wonder. This is the best thing. You punch somebody into an elevator, and then the elevator goes up to the next floor, and the entire time you can just see huge dents form. You beat the shit out of each other. This game is so thoroughly entertaining. And it was eight dollars. Zombie Aquaman. Zombie Aquaman. Yeah. Okay. There was a. There was a DC Comics plotline called Blackest Night, where it was about the Black Lantern Corps, which was like the embodiment of death itself, and a bunch of different heroes got resurrected, like. Were using the the rings were resurrecting these dead heroes and just turning them evil. So like, there's a zombie Aquaman, zombie Hawk Girl, Batman, Superman, etc. Flash, the list goes on. Martian Manhunter, hmm. and uh, in Injustice, one of the DLCs is called Blackest Night. You can get skins for the different characters where they look like zombies. There's also a zombie mode where they look a little bit, they're not wearing the Black as Night skins, they're wearing their normal ones, but they're tattered up and their eyes are like glowing red and they look like zombies. <laughs> oh, that's why I can't find them, because they're in Western Lenosha. At the coin! Uh, they're AI. fighting over that. Fuck you, Aquaman. There's a oh, red yeah, so Slater. <clears throat> Slater, would you want me to tell you the uh, the uh, mod setup that me and Connor came up with for uh, Chroma? Okay, so because you might be able to help me think of get more on it. So uh, we did <laughs> Steel Charge, Power Drift. Prime Vigor, Prime Flow, Prime Continuity, Hunter Adrenaline. This is the last one, so I shouldn't have an issue. In Intensify, thank you, and Augur Drift. Augur Drift, uh... That's... yeah, no, yep. I uh, can't believe I did that. <laughs> yes, Augur Secrets, yes. Correct. <laughs> Augur Penis. God. Oh my. <laughs> Fucking oh Brandon. My God. <sighs> Where are you going, Draggy? I need a whole fill, but I'm just. Huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to giggle on that one. So, where do you? What do you want me to do? Beyond. Okay, so a class that I want to level up. Let's go Red Magey. 
I'll just stay around here while I, uh, so I can, um, tank later. Yeah, I should probably put my burrito on the cook so that it will, uh, be nice <laughs> later. <laughs> on the cook. On the cook. I like it. <laughs> I'm stupid. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, like, I just, I like those weird little things where people, you speak English, but... Like Clearly we fuck it up, English because... For, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I just We're always find English. Those, yeah, I just find that really entertaining. I don't know why. Kind of like how people, like, speak for their dogs and say, um, uh, you, you're doing a sit, or, um... Yeah. What, yeah. what the heck, when they're talking dog. That really... I, thought, I, find, I think it's cute. So do I. Somehow. All the, the doge speak, or doggo speak... Doggo speak. speak is that like oh wow such Hopper Hopper yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brandon I don't hear you do it all that often makes me sad because I thought you said it's because she's stupid at first I was like, no. what the fuck Cassie is smarter than Phoenix let's be honest here she's a dog Phoenix, Phoenix is weird when it comes to barking um, she's not a, a big barker, but she'll, like, whine when she has a toy in her mouth, when she clearly wants to play, but she doesn't want you to play with her, because she's weird. She's, like, uh, she's that comic, where it's like, <laughs> ball, no take, only throw. She, she, she won't let us take the ball from her mouth, but, like, I, I, I get it out of her. I'm good. I'm good about doing that. Her fucking head. Oh, you two know each other personally. I didn't realize that. Me and Brandon? We definitely could. Yes. Yeah, he's only two hours away from me. Now kiss. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I was, uh, something on Reddit at some point where some dude was just like, oh, I used to play with this guy on 360 all the time. Or, no, on, on something. I used to, yeah. Used oh, to yeah, you told me about that. Yeah. And... I was just like, oh, let me look this guy up on Steam sometime. So I plugged in his same username when he was there, and I added him, and he sent me a message back saying my previous username from the other console. And it was like, yeah, and they both started, like, playing again together, and then after playing together for a little while, they realized that they had both lived, like, within 30 minutes walk from each other the entire time. Wow. Like, for years. I think it was something like that. It was like a 30-minute walk. They were in the same town, and they were very close by. Hmm. I don't know if it was 30 minutes, but all I know is that it was walking distance and close. It's just entertaining. That stuff's really fucking cool. Like, that's, that's why, like, sometimes I really wish that I could do, like, more stuff on Final Fantasy, like, looking-wise. Because, like, if I could find the right person... Whew, like I don't, I don't, I wouldn't even care if it'd be like long distance or whatever, because we'd we'd make it work. Like I, I would definitely try to make, make me work in that situation. <laughs> what? How? No, he's being gay. That's like every gay guy feels that way because of how hard it is to find people. Yeah. I mean, we will move to another fucking country, no problem, if it means that we're not going to be alone. <laughs> I definitely might be able to see myself going to that yeah. at length. I know <laughs> people who've done it. Like, I've got a friend from Newfoundland who's currently living in Houston with his boyfriend of, like, 10, 15 years or something. Shit, uh, um, I have a friend a, that lived in, um, fuck, uh, Western Canada, um, met a girl on a phone video game and living with him with her in uh some part of texas yeah you see that kind of stuff a lot meet someone there um shit my uh my ex that wasn't exactly dating me but dating me all we moved in with each other fucking married probably have kids by now like, it can happen. I got another friend here in Toronto who uh, he met. I don't know how they met. I think it was through Diablo, actually. 
Um, they're both huge players in it. But one of them was from Texas, and he moved up to Canada, and they married each other, and now he's a Canadian citizen. Hmm. They've been together for like 20 years. Wow. Or a cute couple, too. Is that that? Or no, they. No, it the didn't even let me cycle. Extremely uh, jealous of. Because the, the, the guy is like super hot. You talking about Dennis? Yes. No. Or are they both Canucks? It, uh, they're both Canadian. They're both from Alberta. That's where the, the friend of mine was. Ah. Yeah, it's a, there's a lot of gay people in Alberta, but you can't really say much because it's pretty heavily conservative and. Um, yeah. And My best friend lives up in Alberta. Though he barely talks because he plays Red Dead Redemption 2 all the time and pretty much only plays poker. <laughs> He's rather uh, interesting when it comes to his video gaming. There are some people like that, yeah. We played uh, Destiny 2 pretty heavily. We were. We met on COD. We're in the same clan together. Um. We played Warframe for quite some time together. Um, pretty much all the cards that had come out to a point until we got kicked out of our clan because he was helping me with something that I clearly couldn't complete anyway. Um, <laughs> and Where? I met this guy. Fuck. I, I genuinely don't know. I can't remember. Might have been 4 yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, it might have been. Um... There was a guy who was in Wales, and it's like uh, I think his name was Curse. Fourteen years old, whatever. I was fourteen, and there was a lot of messaging and pictures and stuff being sent. And then mm -hmm. there was a realization at one point. What the was that, guy, Dale? <laughs> yeah. Again, we were both fourteen, and this story takes a turn. So you might want to rethink that. Because there was another guy that I had known who was dating somebody else who was also from Wales, but a different part of it. And we had met through... I had met... Uh, the guy's name was Joey, and he was in New York. And I had met him through the Wales, the Welsh guy. And there was some realization... I can't remember how he came to it, but he knew... Joey knew his boyfriend's password, and I knew my whatever friend's password. And for some reason one of us told the other one the password and we realized that both passwords were exactly the same it was the same person wow and, yeah I got into his uh, email looked through it and shit and it turns out that he was like a 50 year old man who oh, <laughs> was like a heavy pedophile because he was like using these pictures to send and also trying to get more pictures himself so that was an wow. interesting experience. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up, but kind of cool because like you you meet someone through those kind of experiences, and that shit kind of like changes your shit, like your, I mean, your world. I mean, it made me it made me a little bit distrustful of people online for a while until I I could hear them or see them because yes. I needed something real time. But the, hey, uh, other than that, it's weird. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, so uh, so uh, I made the, I did the big dumb last night, and um, dropped my phone down the stairs. That's break. fun. No, not at all. It didn't break at all, which is the funny part. Like I, it just slipped out of my hand or whatever the fuck I was doing. I caught it with my foot. And as I try to pick it up with my hand, it rolls down my stairs and lands on the screen. But because of the case I have, it's perfectly fine. Yeah. I think I've what got a What the similar... fuck? Similar this is case. some bullshit. <laughs> Does your case, like, have a lip up at the top? Yes. There's, like, space between... The All around it, yeah. Yeah. That thing saved my phone more than once, too. <laughs> this is some... This is bullshit, man. I am so not hearing part of this conversation. It's okay. <laughs> Fine, I'm no, it's Batman not. Anyway. One-sided.